everyone it's miss lawrence here um so this is the first of my art tutorial videos that i'm going to be posting hope you enjoy it it's for all age groups so everybody have a go um you're going to need some paper a pencil and something to draw around um, i'm just using a cup as you can see um, but if you've got a compass you could use that or a glass something that you might have just around the house okay so because I'm holding the camera, you can see by my paper here, I've already drawn around the cup. So I started by turning the cup upside down, placing it on the paper, and I drew around the top of the cup first. And then I flipped the cup over and I've drawn around the smaller end, okay? So I've just placed that in the middle of the first circle and then I've drawn really neatly all the way around the edge. Okay, so you probably can't tell at the moment what it is we're gonna be drawing. So we're gonna have a go at doing a picture of a fish. Now, not just any fish, this is a fish which is inspired by the artwork of a man called Vincent Scarpace. So he's an American artist. And he does these really amazing paintings of fish and he does these brilliant black and white drawings as well. So that's what we're gonna be inspired by today. I'm guessing you might all have a pencil at home, but if you don't, just use anything that you've got. So you could do this with uh, a pen, you could do it with a wax crayon. So just ask at home and see what your family have got in the house and use whatever you've got available, okay? So once you've drawn your two circles, the next step is we're gonna draw a large curved line, okay? So remember what I always tell you in class, don't press on too hard to start with, because if you do make a mistake or you're not happy with it, you can always rub it out, okay? So I'm gonna draw my curve there, okay? It doesn't have to be exactly the same as mine, it's just an example. And then I'm gonna bring this a little bit lower actually, like that. Then this end, I'm gonna make a little V shape. It's gonna be the mouth of the fish. And then underneath, just try and do a similar size and shape curve, but obviously the other way around. And take it all the way up to there so it nearly meets the, the first line that you did. Now we're gonna have a go at doing a tail. So because we're looking at the artist's work, it's not obviously looking like a, a traditional fish drawing. It's a bit more abstract, okay? So it doesn't matter if the tail is wobbly or an unusual shape. I always think if it's a bit different, it looks a bit better anyway. So I'm gonna join that up to there like that. Okay. So there's my basic shape. You can see that the eye of the fish is really big. Okay, that's important because that's how the artist does it in his work. Now we'll put some fins on our fish. So I'm gonna do one big one at the top, like that. Okay, and then I might do two or three smaller ones underneath. So here's one. And then move along a little bit, leave a gap, and then do another one. And then I've got space there, so I might just pop a third one in there as well. And then take that up to where the tail starts. Okay, so I'll just hold that still so you can see. There's our basic shape of the fish. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start to put some patterns on it. Now, I've done a lot of work with all of you based around pattern this year. So you already know the names of lots of different types of patterns. So you could do things like circles, you could do squares, you could do zigzags, you could do anything you want, okay? So obviously the more unusual ones and the more different ones I think would look better. So let's start with doing some circles in the fish's eye. So I'm going to do some big ones, some medium sized ones, some really small ones. I'm just working my way right around the edge, first of all. 
keep it nice and neat so take your time I'm doing it quite quickly to show you and don't forget if I'm going a bit too fast you can always press pause on the video so just go at your own pace okay so okay, there we go all the way around the eye and then I'm gonna put some stripes I think in the fin at the top so you could have some lines close together you could have some sort of wider like this you could even have some going in the opposite direction so some vertical some horizontal so that looks nice that's filled that bit up what other sorts of patterns can we do so let's put some stripes down there and then let's do some nice swirls Okay, again, you can do some big ones, some small ones, some medium size, but go right to the edges of the fin. So it fills up that entire section there. Um, and then how about we put some patterns on the fish's body. So I'm going to start with a big line there and then I'm going to do a nice, easy zigzag pattern. Okay, so this is obviously my example, but you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. You think of your own patterns. I'm going to do some nice stripes, I think, on his tail. Going out like this. And maybe I'll do him some sharp teeth as well. Make a piranha fish. There we go, just simple zigzags. And around his eye... When I looked at the artist, Vincent Scarpace, he puts sharp angles and shapes around the fish eye. And again, now that means we've got some more sections where we can put some patterns. So I'm going to do like a chessboard pattern. So to do that, do some stripes going down first, then some stripes going across like that and then use your pencil or whatever it is you're drawing with and start to put some shading into your fish now this is where it really starts to look effective okay so you when you're doing this chessboard pattern you shade one miss one shade one miss one and so on so it creates a pattern okay I'll just do it quickly to show you, but you need to just take your time and when you're shading, try and stay in the lines. Now, I've just got a pencil here, but you could at this stage introduce some different colours if you wanted to do a colourful fish. Or if not, just do what I'm doing and keep it all black and white. Uh, I think I'm going to put some zigzags on his tail as well. I've got a bit of space there. I think the more pattern you do, the better it looks. So think about when we've done patterns in class, we've done some wiggly lines. I'm going to put those in that fin there. You can probably think of more than I can. You get the idea anyway. So you're basically filling up all the sections of your fish. So once you've got your patterns in place, you can apply your shading. So to save time, I've prepared one earlier to show you how it could look when it's finished. Okay, so I'm just showing you this just quickly there, a little bit more shading, so you get the idea. Okay, but I'm going to stop there and show you what a finished one could look like. Okay, so this is one that I worked on earlier, and there is my fish inspired by the artwork of Vincent Scarpace. So have a go, just have fun with it, okay? Use different colors, different materials, and I'll post another video soon. Bye-bye.